So one of my friends that did chemical engineering said that when he came for his PhD program, he was exposed. Hello everyone, you welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Monyolua Ogleye. So I had an interview a while ago and the, person, the interviewer asked me if I had not studied law, what would I have studied? And I said I would have studied chemical engineering. And that's because my dad is a chemical engineer and beautifully I got married to a chemical engineer. And so chemical engineering holds a special place in my heart. So I'm going to be providing you with a list of universities in the United States that are offering fully funded opportunities for international students that are interested in pursuing a master's or PhD program in chemical engineering. So one of my friends that did chemical engineering said that when he came for his PhD program, he was expo exposed to certain chemical process and procedure which he has never experienced as an undergrad in his home country. And that's one of the beautiful parts of pursuing a chemical engineering degree, either master's or PhD program in the United States. So if you have the same desire to have more exposure about chemical process, chemical proceedings, and chemical everything, this video is for you. So I'm going to be providing you with a list of universities, I think about 15 of them, that have fully funded opportunities for international students that are interested in pursuing a graduate program in chemical engineering. So now let's go to this list. The first university on this list is Ohio State University and the acceptance rate is 52.7%, which is really high. And they have a master's in chemical engineering. And this is the contact of Jaguar Konuto. Please reach out to them. Now the requirement is the application deadline is by January 15th for the fall semester and July 15th for the spring semester. And we also, you need your undergraduate degree, a GP of 3.0. GRE is not required for students with a grad, undergraduate degree in chemical engineering. And also this department also provide funding opportunities in form of assistantship for their students. So all graduate students admitted to the program will be provided financial support, which will include assistantship, tuition, waiver, and subsidized health insurance. The next university on the list is University of Michigan, and the acceptance rate is 17.7%. And they have a program in chemical engineering. I have friends in this department, and I know that first and explain that it's a very good department. Now, for doctoral program, the deadline is December 1st, while for master's program is January 15th. If you have any question, please reach out to this contact provided on the screen. Now, for funding, there is no separate application for financial aid. All students who intend to earn a PhD will be automatically considered for aid. Kindly note that they do not have funding opportunities in this department for those that are intending to pursue a master's program in chemical engineering. They also have application fee waiver, which is very good. So please send and you have to request for application fee waiver by November 20. Now the application document, statement of purpose, personal statement, GRE is no longer required. You need three letters of recommendation and applicants need to upload a official transcript. So the next university on the list is University of Pennsylvania and the acceptance rate is 25%. They have a department of chemical and biomolecular engineering and I think they have just doctoral program for graduate students. Now they only admit students only for the fall semester. So if you are intending to apply for spring, they don't have recruitment for that spring. So you apply online, please check out their website for the detail of the requirements. Now the department encourage all students to apply for graduate training fellowship. University of Penn is one of the schools that I recommend. Even though the acceptance law is low, but still please check it out and apply. The next university on the list is University of Kansas, and the acceptance rate is 87.8%. This is a school with one of the highest GPA, the uh, highest acceptance rate that I know. And they have a chemical and petroleum engineering department. Now, the required document, online application, application fee, which I don't think is waivable. They have a resume, you have a personal statement. So please check out this school. This is one of the schools that I can recommend with my heart. Now, GRE is not required for you to apply for chemical engineering in this university. Also, for those that do not get funding, the department provides funding, but if you don't have funding, you have to submit a financial statement Now, this school provide things that they expect you to answer in your statement of purpose for international students i think you are required to write like a standardized say like gre please check out this university 
they have like two type of admission they have the provisional admission and the unconditional admission so check if how flexible is their process and the application deadline for fourth semester for the if you want funding is january 5th if you don't want funding is march 1st so the next university on the list is kansas state university and the acceptance rate is 95.1 percent this is one of my most recommended universities so they have a chemical engineering program they have a phd and a master's program in chemical engineering now the required document statement of objective which also known the statement of purpose the name and email of three a professional or academic recommender the deadline for submission is january 8th so if you're applying apply on time they have spring intake and they have summer intake, which is very, very good. Now, the next university on the list is Oregon State University. Oregon is a good state, although it's a little bit hot. But if you are from Africa, you should be able to do well in this state. They have a chemical engineering pro graduate program. And it, it's called the School of Chemical, Biological and Environmental Engineering Department. So please check out this university because the, invest the department is beyond chemical. It's also... A biological and environmental engineering now international students interested in masters of engineering should apply through the masters international direct i just want to point that there's even between masters of science in engineering and masters of engineering now the application deadline for masters of science and phd program priority date is december 1st while the final deadline is january 5th but if you're interested in engineering masters of engineering the deadline is May 1st. Now, the, also, this department provides assistantship, although it's very competitive. So if you know that you are interested in applying for this program, submit your application on time. Kindly note that GRE is not required for these departments. Also, if you are for an international student, I, you can confirm whether they have language prof, um, proficiency requirements in this department. So the required documents are online application, a application fee of $85 for international students, and every other document. The next university on the list is University of Maryland, and the acceptance rate is 44.8%. Maryland is a very good state also for international students. It is very good. You see a lot of international students community there. They have research opportunities for students, and they have a very good research um, graduate research opportunity and undergraduate research opportunity they have merit-based fellowship and they have different specialization these are some of their specialization like protein engineering polymer reaction engineering and check it out so the next university on the list is northeastern university and the acceptance rate is kind of low is 6.8 percent this university is located in Boston, and I think is that's also the area the MIT is. And so it's an opportunity that you can take to interact with students in MIT and even like either intern or with them or whatnot. But this is a university that you also should consider. And their specialization is very vast, sustainability, biosystem, and whatnot. So please check out this university. They also have funding opportunities, financial aid opportunities for students. And their financial aid are in form of assistantship, scholarship, fellowship, and external award. So please check out this university. It's a very, as I said, that Boston is a very good state for an international student. You see lots of international student community in this school. And they have a lot of scholarship for their students. Like, I was scrolling through the website and I was really impressed on the amount of scholarship they have for both incoming students and outgoing students. So do not be left out of this that this university have to offer to you as an international student that is interested in pursuing a master's or PhD program in chemical engineering here in the United States. The next university on the list is University of Idaho, and it's one of these universities that I came about, and I think it's a very good school. So they have a Master's of Engineering, a Master's of Science in Chemical Engineering, and they have a PhD program in Chemical Engineering. GRE is not required, but you, the preferred GPA is a 3.0 GPA for admission. Now, you need your letter of recommendation between i think individuals may be required to submit one to three letters of recommendation which is very good i mean the fact that they are asking you to submit one to three gives them a lot of flexibility 
other requirements are your resume statement of purpose writing sample portfolio now students can also submit their own official transcripts but later on you're required to submit your official transcript and the TOEFL is also waived the next university on the list is mississippi state university and acceptance rate is 75.2 percent they have a school of chemical engineering Tech through, I went through their website and this school is also a very good school. Like they have different form of engineering. So if chemical engineering is your thing or you're interested in computer science and engineering, computation engineering and biomedical, biosystem engineering, applied physics, please check out this university. And they also have fun opportunities for their students. The next university on the list is University of Arkansas and the acceptance rate is 78.9%, which is also very high. This university is a big one for me. I love this university and what they have to offer for international students. The required documents are a 3.0 GPA and also this, this department is also waiving GRE for the upcoming academic year. So the fact that they are waiving GRE just reduces your costs of applying to grad school. And the department offers master's and PhD program for students who do not have a BSc in chemical engineering. Now, they have funding opportunities for their students. And if you receive funding, it will pay all your tuition and some student fee and living stipend for students. They also have graduate research fellowship. So please check out this university. The next university on the list is Washington State University. And the acceptance rate is 83.1%. They have funding opportunities in the department for chemical engineering prospective student. So if you're interested in pursuing chemical engineering, master's or PhD, Washington State University is the university that you should check. They have your master's in chemical engineering. The deadline is for the fourth semester is January 10 and the name of their campus is like Pullman. So please check out this university. Reach out to the graduate coordinator if you have any question. The next university of in this list is California Institute of Technology. And the acceptance rate, I think, is less than 20%. Now, they have a biochemistry and molecular biophysics. They have a chemical engineering and chemistry department. And so, also, they have a graduate application fee waiver for their students. Now, you need to apply online. We strongly discourage application from Caltech undergrad except for, for extran extraneous circumstances. So, late application may be considered for admission but you are at a disadvantage when it comes to fund opportunity. Please check out this university. Caltech University is a very good school because it's located in California, and California is a very good state to stay here in the United States. If you have any questions, this is their email address that you should reach out to. As I mentioned earlier, GRE is not required. Absence of GRE will not negatively impart a qualified student. So please check out this university. The next university on the list is University of South Carolina, and the acceptance rate is 64.1%. And they have a chemical college of engineering and computation at, in this department. So if you are interested in aerospace engineering, artificial intelligence certification, civil engineering, electrical engineering, nuclear engineering, bio, biophysics engineering, please check out this university. They have a very good and a robust chemical engineering department. And like under the school of chemical engineering and computation there are a lot of things that you can benefit from so the department has subsidized application fee reducing it to 35 dollars so please take advantage of this reduction now students whose native language is not english must satisfy a requirement of TOEFL but if you know that your language of instruction is english you can reach out to them and see if it can be waived because the language of instruction in your university or the official language of your university is english so please check out this university i went to their website their website is easy to navigate their specialization is top notch i and i love this university of south carolina the next university on the list is university of Massachusetts in low well and the acceptance rate is 86 percent which is very high they have a master's of science in chemical engineering and going to their website i was really impressed because it's, i just came across this university also and i was able to navigate through their website and their page and the requirements are like the general basic one so please check out this university now students in this program may be eligible for financial aid in form of fellowship 
research assistant assistantship during their five years of their study. Acceptance of this assistant and the attendance responsibility may delay the completion of the program beyond five years. Now, the next university is a popular Massachusetts Institute of Technology, popularly known as MIT. Do not be scared, <laughs> even though it's a very Ivy League school, you can still try your luck and apply. Now, all chemical engineering graduate students in good standing are fully funded by the department through fellowship, research assistant, teaching assistant, and there's a monthly stipend of 3462 for their students for the master students, while $4,075 per month for their PhD students, which is a very juicy one. So please apply to this school. If you know that you meet their requirements, apply. Do not say that you are not qualified. Still throw your net, still apply to this school and see how well it turned out. And I hope you enjoyed this video and I wish you all the best. I hope you find this video very helpful for you. Please share this video with your friends and loved ones. Spread the good news about this channel and the beautiful things we have to offer to our subscribers. Please kindly subscribe. And as we always say on this channel, please this year, take those baby steps, got great vision, great words and greatness lie on the premise of you taking those baby steps. So till we meet again in our next video, remember, I'm vouching for you even as you take this critical step in your career journey. Till we meet again in our next video. Bye-bye.